Let's go! Check this out, guys. It is an actual nether village. Have a look at this with nether wart farms. Brand new trees called the ash trees, guys. Have a look at this. Is this not awesome? Because I think it is pretty cool. <laughs> You not afford EY stream merch? Well, lucky for you, all merch is on sale until Christmas. If you want to be a YouTuber just like me, we've got hoodies, t shirts, and bag tags all for sale. So make sure to hit the link in the description below to grab some merch and make sure to ask your parents to get you some for Christmas while it is super cheap. Stay awesome and enjoy today's video. Hey, what's up, guys? EY stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you. What the nether could look like in a future Minecraft update. And I'm going to be showing you how you can get all these awesome brand new nether features in your very own Minecraft world earlier before all the old friends of you are looking forward to today's video. Make sure to go ahead and drop a like down below. We are going for 3,000 likes. And what I want you guys to do here is my challenge for today is, you know, Blazers can get very annoying. They shoot out fire charges. They're like, pew, 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 pew. I want you to hit the like button as if you were shooting a fire charge at it. So, like, tons of energy, tons of force. Go ahead, smash that like button. And let me know down in the comments below if you hit the like button. Like a blaze. So, we're going for 3,000 blaze likes if you are new to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Make sure to slap the subscribe and hit the little bell icon to ling, ding, ding. So, you always know when the coolest features are out. And you can always get them before all of y'all friends. But we should go ahead and get straight into today's video. As you guys can see, I have got the nether portal behind me right now. And when we go in, we are about to see a ton of brand new features that could come to the nether sometime in a future update. We're talking about new mobs, new entities, new plants, new blocks, and an entire new biome or structure. I don't, I don't really know. Do villages count as biomes? Oh no, I've already revealed one. No, all right, fine. I can't reveal anything more about these. A brand new nether update, guys. It's time for you to see for yourself. Are you ready, guys? This is the moment of truth. The moment you've all been waiting for, even though you've probably only been watching this video for about one minute now. Here we go, guys. In three, in two, one, let's go! Check this out, guys. It is an actual nether village. Have a look at this with nether wart farms. Brand new trees called the ash trees, guys. Have a look at this. Is this not awesome? Because I think it is pretty cool. Wouldn't it be great to start seeing these in an update, in a future nether update, guys? Have a look at this. This is just awesome. Like, you've seen villagers. They're pretty boring. But this right here, guys, is a nether village. I mean, that that's pretty cool. I mean, you don't see this every day. And trust me, your friends do not have this in their world just yet, guys. But have a look at this. We're gonna have a light. We're gonna do a little bit of a tour. So first off, we have these brand new farms with that have nether warts. As you guys can see, we've got lava in the center. We've got soul sand growing up some beautiful nether warts. So this is gonna be a great way for you guys to quickly farm nether warts and go ahead and make tons of potions. Whereas previously, they're only found in nether fortresses and there isn't many of them. However, as you guys can see here, we have plenty of uh, nether warts right there. Then we have the nether blacksmith, as you guys can see here. This one's basically the same as your normal one. We got some pink wool here, our little chest over there, guys. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, as you guys can see, a lot of these houses have had their wood retextured with nether. Uh, we've got we've got nether rack here, and then with the sides, instead of them being logs, we're using the nether brick blocks. We have another one of those beautiful nether warp farms. Our path is made out of soul sand. Not sure how I feel about that, guys, because when you walk on it, you end up going really, really slowly. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Maybe that's just to stop villagers from speeding around the village, because I, I, that must be such a big problem, guys. You know, can you imagine, like, if a villager was running super quickly and another villager was running super quickly and they crashed into each other? That's obviously what the soul sand is for. I, okay, guys, I don't know what that soul I don't know why the father is soul sand. I don't know how I feel about that, but, um... Yeah, it, it's kind of weird. It, it forces you to, like, go down and just enjoy the sights of the village. And honestly, it's worth enjoying because it's such a unique design. We have our wealth here. Instead of water, we got lava. And it's just something very, very different. You guys see, everything about this village is very unique. And you're not going to find this in any, of course, of the overworld villages. This is something very different, very unique. And I think what will be interesting, guys, 
is whether we see if we get nether villagers is what we will get in them, whether we'll get a special type of villager. I mean, who knows what Microsoft will do in their update, but when they do, and if they do bring nether villagers, are we going to see like a very specific type of villager that's only in these nether villages? Or are we going to start seeing maybe they be occupied by zombie pigment or something? I'm not really sure, but all around, these look really, really cool, and I really hope that these come to the game sometime in the future, especially because we're getting that villager and pillager update. I don't think it's too far-fetched to say that we might get a nether village update. And as you guys can see, these things look really cool, so I would really be down for that. Now, on top of, of course, an entire new structure biome, guys, are a ton of new plants that would be sp uh, particular, like, just found in the nether biome and one of these of course you guys have already seen is this ash tree right here and basically what this is is it's like a normal tree but it's an ash tree and what ash means is it's wood that has been burned and as you guys can see the bottom of the base the base of this tree has been absolutely fried up and all the leaves have gone black guys and i think that's a really interesting thing like inside the nether guys it's kind of boring at least in my opinion um it's been around for a while we haven't had a lot of changes and it's just the same landscape over and over again but wouldn't it be cool is every now and then while you're going through one of these nether biomes is you find an entire forest filled with ash trees just like hidden and surrounded by glowstone if there's like a magical part of the nether i think that'd be really cool an additional to the ash tree are these which are called the glowstone stalactites guys and basically these are little bits of glowstone that you'll be able to destroy to go ahead and get glowstone dust just the same way you'd be able to get glowstone from just regular glowstone blocks but i think this is a very interesting way for glowstone to be shown and you wouldn't really like this is something unique guys there I mean, I think it'd be a really cool way to have new types of glowstone. And even if Mojang added a different type of glowstone, that when you dug this up didn't give you glowstone power of powder, but maybe something else, maybe a different color of glowstone power. Another one here, guys, is the giant lava mushrooms. And these things I think would be awesome. Once again, having a biome inside the nether, because at the moment the nether is a single biome, but it'd be cool as inside the biome you have different uh, inside the nether, guys, if we had different biomes. So like a biome biome of ash trees a biome of these like like a cave system full of glowstone stalactites and then like a biome full of these lava mushrooms like this guy's just like in the overworld where you have a mushroom biome we have forest biomes i think it'd be really cool to see the same kind of thing imitated inside the nether and with each one having their own unique mobs and there are unique mobs guys for this you know update here i'm going to be showing you what some of these could look like guys in a future update so we have that there are a few other plants that you will be able to find spawning and hopefully we'll see them in future updates. One of them being these things, which are the poison spikes. Now these things you do not want to get near to in survival because these are going to give you a poison effect, guys. And even as you guys can see, when I get closer to them, you actually slow down and it gives you like this weird, like it kind of feels like it's lagging, but it's actually giving you like this slight poison effect for a very short amount of time. It's really, really cool. And this could be another, once again, we could see like a cave system full of these things. And like at the end of the cave system, there's like some loot guys. And you have to go through and try and not get stabbed or poisoned by any of these poison spikes and get that loot, guys. I think that'd be really cool. And also a really cool feature to see inside. Maybe uh, maybe we could see poison spikes as part of the dungeons in the nether fortresses. I think that'd be awesome to see when they are added to Minecraft, guys. Really, really cool. Oh, and by the way, um, I will be showing you how you can get all of these in your very own Minecraft world early. Make sure to stick around to the end of the episode if you guys want to see that. But right now, I'm just kind of showcasing what the future update could look like and how excited I am for this, guys. I really want to see another update because we just haven't had one in a very long time. Now, here is another one of our special plants. This is kind of like the giant lava mushroom. This is like a little baby version. And once again, inside that mushroom biome, we can see some of these, some of the bigger ones. And all around, I just think that'd be really cool, really unique. And maybe you could dig them up, get special types of mushrooms, use those for special types of potions. There are just so many possibilities here, guys, with these new plants. But all in all, these look awesome. The village looks awesome. And we could start to see in future updates, guys, this nether village. Special nether villages, new plants, our new biomes. But of course, we need to see some new mobs. And guys, uh, ooh, look at this end chest. I mean, this is just conveniently placed here. I absolutely did not place this here before the start of today's episode. Just kidding, guys. I put this chest here just before the start of today's episode because, you know, I, I would take forever, guys. I'd get very distracted if we didn't have a chest. That just so happened. I, I totally didn't put it all in there. Of course, I put it all in there, guys. Check this out. 
we have a ton of brand new nether mobs that we could find in the brand new biomes that may come to the nether in the future, guys. As well as how you can go ahead and spawn in all the different plants I've shown you. As well as a few other ones that didn't spawn around this area, guys. Generally, um, at the moment, like this... Um in this update showcase, I've planted some of these around here, guys. But hopefully, I would love to see these spawn uh, around the nether and you'd be able to find them in biomes. Right now, they spawn randomly. But, you know, as I said, I would love to see these in biomes. So I think the first thing we've got to do, guys, is check out some of these brand new mobs. And uh, I get the feeling they're not going to be super nice to us. So let's go ahead and grab some armor here, guys. Bang, bang, bang. All right, and uh, I'm probably going to need to have uh, some sword. Uh, uh, definitely a bow and a golden apple, guys. But are you ready to check out some brand new mobs? I really hope we get to see them. I'm going to move these a little bit further from the village, since some of them are quite destructive. So we'll go ahead and start checking these out. Now, our first one here, guys, is the Underdweller. If we go ahead and spawn them in, check this out. This is kind of like a zombie villager. However, it is a nether version, and I think this would be something cool. This could be, like, we could find these spawning inside the nether villages instead of villages themselves, which I think would be really, really interesting. Now, how much damage do these guys do? Let's have a look, guys. So, this guy... Oh, wow, why am I already so low hearts? What the? I'm so low. Okay, effect at P. We'll just give ourselves quick regeneration here. Uh, no, stop hitting me! No, 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 no! Okay, I just remembered I have golden apples. Don't worry, I'm good, I'm good. All right, so these guys seem to do about one heart of damage. How much? One, two... Okay, so two kids with a diamond sword. They're not super strong, but this could be another cool mob. They're very similar to the zombie pigment. However, I could see these being spawning inside the nether villages just to give a little bit more variety because at the moment, nether is honestly kind of boring. So on top of that, we have other versions of the Underdweller. We have this guy here, which once again, we could see uh, spawning inside villages. Kind of like how at the moment, guys, we see different types of villages. Inside Overworld villages, we can see different type of the Underdwellers living in the Nether Village, guys. And once again, this guy seems to do one heart as well and two hits to die. Then we have another type of Underdweller. Oh, whoa, this guy actually moves really quickly. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What the... Okay, so this is another version of the Underdweller. This guy is uh, missing an arm. And he moves really, really quickly, this guy. Look at how fast that guy moves. It's like I can zoom, guys. And this guy does about half a heart. Takes about three hits to kill. Um, and all around, I think it'd be really cool to see a bunch of these underdwellers, you know, occupy these uh, nether villages. And then also, maybe we could find, like, some of them... I don't know. Would it be really cool if we started to see, like, some of these spawn inside nether fortresses as well? Now, on top of these, we have... The another version of the Underdweller, which looks just like that. So we've got four Underdwellers, which is similar to the amount of... We have about, I think there's like eight different types of uh, villages, I think. I'm not really sure, guys, but there's a, definitely a ton of different types of villages. So I think it's really cool to have a ton of different type of Underdwellers here, guys. And yeah, all around. Whoa! That makes a creepy sound when you kill that Underdweller. Holy flip. So that was three hits, guys. How much damage? This guy does about one heart, but then listen to the sound he makes. That is weird. That is spooky, guys. I really like that. And it's nothing else like that's what's in the game, which I think would be really cool. Now, our next mob is the Hell Razor. This is a totally different mob uh, to the Underdwellers. Let's have a look what these guys look like. Check this guy out. Holy mo- Oh my gosh! And nope, he's not friendly at all. This is a very similar uh, mob to the Ghast mob, guys, in the fact that, as you guys can see, he shoots uh, fire charges. Holy flip. Except, unlike the Gus, which shoots them slowly, this guy's different in the fact that not only is he not found floating around in the sky, but he's actually found uh, just above the ground like this. He kind of hovers there, but he shoots his fire charges in quick succession, which would, you know, kind of give a different bit of variety in the combat, guys, if Microsoft added this uh, Hellraiser to the game. And, and let's see, one, two, three, as, oop, three. As you guys can see, generally a Gus would be dead about there. Whoa, flip, man, flip! Generally, a ghast would be dead about there, but this guy seems to take a quite a bit more damage. Uh, so there's one, three bow shots, four, um, five, six. Oh, wow. Okay, so six shots and that guy goes down. I think that'd be really cool. And also, like, coming against a few of these guys would be quite scary, guys. Like, look, ready? We're going to see how much damage these guys do. Holy moly, look at the amount of, like... Oh my gosh, if I wasn't, if I didn't have full diamond armor and eating a golden apple, guys, that would have done quite a bit of, holy moly. Oh, whoa, that. Holy, okay, where am I? Wow, that's all I can say, guys. Coming against a, like, pack of those 
would honestly be really, really scary. You would not want to come across some of these guys. And I think it'd be really interesting to have these because they're kind of different to Gars in the fact that they spawn in... You, like, you'd be able to find these in nether caves, inside fortresses, and, like, it would kind of make things a little bit tougher and give you a... Because, obviously, guys, check that out. You can actually shoot back the fire charges just like you shoot back fire charges at Gars, guys. And I think it would make something... Like, it's just a really interesting mob, and there's nothing like it in the game at the moment. And I... Oh, my gosh! I would love to see some of these new, scarier, like, boss-type mobs inside the game, guys. Because they're just so unique, so different. And watch out! Really, really cool. And what kind of drops do we get? We get gunpowder, some bones, and some rotten flesh. And holy flip, these guys have done quite a bit of damage to our surrounds, guys. But, yeah, I would love to see these, um, just to make the nether a bit more scary. Because right now, it's not super scary, besides for guards. And zombie pigmen, which as long as you don't hit them, they're not going to hurt you. But I think that the Hellraiser is really cool. Now that we've checked out those, we have the Hostile Head, the Parasites, the uh, the Vengean Soul, and the Villager. Ooh, that's a little interesting, guys. We'll get around to the Villager and why I've included that in these brand new nether mobs. But let's have a look. We have the Hostile Heads. And basically, these guys are really weird. Like, this is scary. Honestly, really spooking me out right now, guys. It is actually a head, just, just a head that will go ahead and it actually moves quite quickly and it has, oh my god, it has serious knockback, this head, like look at that guys, it will actually knock you back quite a bit, it's one, two, three, three shots to take that guy out and I would imagine that when these are added to the game, like you would have, find like a ton of these like this guys in like, like packs and you would just have tons of little heads chasing after you, kind of similar to, uh, what are they called, uh, um, 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 like the Endermites or whatever, guys. I think these are very similar to Endermites in that concept. Or like like those baby little slimes that are just an absolute nightmare to take care of, guys. These are very similar to those in the fact that they would spawn in packs. And we would see a ton of them trying to kill us. And oh my gosh, you would not want to come across some of these, guys. On top of those, a very similar mob to these, uh, to these hostile heads are the Parasites. Once again, this would be a mob that would spawn in like giant numbers. Like you would just find absolutely ton of these... A ton of these things and oh oh my gosh all right let's just eat some apples real quick so you would probably in like a nether cave or something just find a ton of these parasites guys and as you can see they do a lot of damage very very quickly oh my and they're very difficult and annoying to kill because of how small they are guys but i think it'd be really cool to like you know just be walking along or even similar to guys um i believe if we have uh if we go ahead wait wait hold up game mode uh, see guys if we go ahead and you know how normally guys you can go ahead and destroy one of these monster uh, One of these types of ones the mossy stone mon uh, brick monster eggs guys What I think it'd be really cool is if you destroyed a certain type of nether brick and that went ahead and perhaps released Parasites similar to the same world uh, you get silver fish that's the name of the mob the same way you get silver fish in the overworld when you destroy a block I think it'd be really cool to see the exact same thing inside the nether guys but obviously with parasites instead of silverfish then we have the vegan soul which these things are really really cool they are like very similar to ghast but they are really really small actually they're also really similar to the mob you find in the woodland mansions in the fact that they're kind of like ghost like they're small they're hard to hit and obviously because they are hard to hit it can be quite hard to kill these guys and um let's see what kind of damage they do come on attack me attack me wait do they not attack you are they friendly? Oh, they're not friendly. <laughs> oh my gosh. They actually like, they're very, they're like phantoms, guys. They swoop down at you and try and do damage. That's really creepy. Look at this, guys. They actually swoop down on you. And because they can fly, they are actually kind of a hard mob to kill. Because like, they can, they look at this, guys. They can actually go into the ground and then just like appear out of the ground. Look at that. They go into the ground and appear. So like, you could go, ooh, you know, it's a really cool idea, guys. You could go into like an ash forest biome inside the nether and think it's totally fine. And then suddenly a ton of these guys just spring out of the ground and give you an absolute heart attack, guys. That'd be so interesting and make the nether such a, you know, a scarier place to be in. I think that'd be really, really cool. And all around, these are really awesome looking mobs. There's nothing like them in the game currently. Hey, stop hitting me. I'm trying to do a video here. And um, also, I'm assuming you'd be able to, oh, wow. No, you cannot hit these with bows. They'd move way too quickly. Oh, there we go. I got that one. They are quite quite hard to hit with bows just because of their speed, but all around, really unique mobs. Would love to see these added to the game. All right, let's switch in the creative. We've got one more mob here, guys, and that is the villager. Now, villagers obviously are pretty normal, and obviously we could see villagers spawn in these nether villages if, you know, they weren't underdwellers, but there is a very type of villager that you would find spawning in the overworld, 
And that kind of villager, if I can go ahead and get one. These are very rare types of villagers, guys. I'm trying to... Please give me a... Wow, can I, can I not... There it is, guys. This guy right here with the red robes. This guy right here. This is a very, very special type of villager. This is called a nether villager. And I think it'd be really cool to have these added into normal villagers. And basically, when you come up to them to trade, they give you uh, trade deals. As you can see, they are called the nether man here, guys. For things such as nether items like nether quartz, you get poison spike clusters, glowstone by trading the raw glowstone crust clusters. Um, you'd be able to get raw glowstone clusters by trading in these things. Uh, if you traded in gunpowder, you would get uh, the ash leaves here, guys. Trading in the these blocks here, you'd go ahead and be able to get the different types of woods. And basically, this would allow you to get a ton of the different uh, items that you generally find only in the nether in the overworld just by trading with a villager, which... At the moment, there is no way to get nether items other than go to the nether. So I think it'd be really great to be able just to trade with a villager in the overworld without having to go to the nether every time you want to get nether resources, which I think would make things much easier and way, just way cooler in general if we started to see these nether villagers. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and kill all these villagers just because they're lagging out the game a little bit. So type equals villager. There we go. All right. Sorry, Mr. Villagers. But yeah, that'd be really cool to see like a nether style villager in the overworld and not just in the nether. Now, on top of all these brand new mobs, we have a ton of new plants. Now, you guys have already seen a few of these. However, there are a few more that I haven't shown you guys just yet. So let's have a look at these. And then I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can go ahead and get these in your very own Minecraft world early. So... First off, guys, are these are brand new Netherrack Stalactonites, and these look sick. I don't know. Can you check that out? You can even spawn them coming off roofs, guys. Look at that. They look sick. They look cool. And, like, you could find an entire biome of these, like, a cave system filled with these, and, boy, that'd be scary. Like, that would look sick. Like, if we come into this cave here, guys, imagine coming into a cave and just finding tons of these everywhere. Like, that is really, really cool. Now, what's even cooler about these stalactomites, guys, is by using these other types of plants, you can go ahead and change what they are. So, let's say I put a stalactomite here, I go ahead, grab an ash tree, and bang, check that out, guys. We can go ahead and plant as many ash trees as we want, and we could even go ahead and make our very own ash tree biome in the nether, guys. Even though that's not something that's been added to the game yet, hopefully it will be added in the future, guys. You can go ahead and make your own. We also have the lava shrooms, guys, which are these adorable little mushrooms, guys. And once again, finding these in clusters and then maybe they give let you make certain type of potions that only work in the nether would be really, really interesting, guys. Uh, we have the raw glowstone clusters, which you guys have already seen as well. Uh, hopefully, these would drop things like uh, glowstone or maybe a special type of glowstone, like raw glowstone. We have the poisoned spike clusters. Now, I'm pretty sure these do poison you in survival, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. Oh, maybe they don't. Okay. No, they don't poison you in survival. Hopefully, um, when the if these are added to the game, they would poison you. I think that'd be really interesting. We also have the quartz clusters. And once again, this would be just another way to get quartz. And this would be a really, really cool decoration tool. Like, there are no other items or blocks that look like these. And I think it'd be really interesting to see them. On top of that, guys, we, of course, have the giant lava shrooms, which are the uh, bigger brothers to these babies. And those are all the brand new plants and rocks that could be added to the nether in future updates, guys. All in all, these look great. I really hope we get to see them in a future update, guys. But until we do... You want to get these things early because all around this village looks awesome. These plants look awesome. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do that. So what you're going to need to do is go ahead and leave your world just like this, guys. You want to come over to your world. Click the little edit sign as you guys can see. Subscribe, please. Because you guys should subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with all these cool new stuff. So please do that. And oh, forgot to mention, guys, if you haven't gotten yourself some EY Stream merch just yet, it is currently all on sale, guys. All the way until Christmas, so you should ask your parents to get you some as a Christmas present or start saving up now, guys. Because these look lit, so if you want to be a YouTuber just like me, make sure to grab some merch. But what you need to do is come down to Resource Packs. As you guys can see, I've got the Better Nether Resource and Behavior Pack activated. If you don't have that in your Resource pack section, you can go ahead and download that by hitting the link in the description below. And if you want to get the Nether Village, I will have a map download to that in the description as well. So you can go ahead and get all these really awesome brand new Nether features right now and hopefully we get to see these in a future update hopefully in another update very, sometime very very soon but anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed today's video enjoy checking out all these brand new features that could be coming to the game i will see you in the next one guys and until then you watch your map Bye.